Hey there everyone, this is a collaborative Google presentation that you are going to put together with your classmates. I have a very um, comprehensive list of instructions here for you to read. For those of you who feel more comfortable, if you see how this is going to work, let me walk you through a few basic things. Um, I'm going to just show you how to insert text and how to insert an image. But please do read all of these instructions because I'm not going to cover everything in this little tutorial. This is the sample slide that gives you an idea of basically what your end product should look like. Um, take note of the size. This is 14 point font and it works pretty well. Um, so you can adjust the size of your font. You can see up here um, by selecting the font and then changing it up here. Okay, But this is how you get started. You're going to pan through these slides on the left here and find the one with your name on it. If I were Jennifer, I would go ahead and get started by um, inserting, first of all, my image. I'd click on Insert in the blue bar at the top, and then go down to Image. From there, you click Browse, and you're going to look for that image on your... Um, oh, let's see what I have here. On your desktop and I don't know if I have any images actually well let's just do this one that you'll see in your voice thread okay and that image will load and I can easily grab the corner and just size it down if I need to it's better if you can find a high quality image that will appear well here um, I do not recommend that you make the image bigger than it appears because then you're going to stretch it out and you're going to see that it'll become pixelated very quickly. All right, so my image is placed and I just moved it around by dragging and dropping. Now I'm going to click over in this gray area where I want my text to go. And I'm going to go up to the top and click on the little text icon that says insert a text shape into the current slide. After I click there, a box will pop up that I can also drag to the space where I want it to appear and resize it if necessary by grabbing the corners and then all I need to do is start typing in it. So I can just say I chose, uh, this is, let's start with what I said. This is a photograph of and I would continue. Now again you're going to run out of space pretty quick with this size font. This is 20. So I, again I recommend highlighting it and changing it down to 14. And then you have a little bit more to play with. You don't want to get too much smaller than that because it gets really hard to read. Of course if you have a horizontal image um, it will take up a different shape and you may want to even include more than one text box if you have more space at the bottom that you want to put some text on. So I hope that is helpful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what y'all come up with.